a faint hint of smoke. Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a bottle here in my cask. Well, I always wanted to taste it, but it is quite rare. It's a Abafaldi, 18 years old, and it's, I think, only sold uh, in the travel value. And it's a liter bottle, and it's quite expensive, 80 to 100 euros, dollars, pounds, whatever. Um, and there are wonderful Aberfeldis with 12 and 21 years old on the market. And this one lies in between, not too expensive. Um, yeah, and today I have it on my cask. Um, this is the new design of Aberfeldi with a black tube with golden letters on it. Not bright golden, but old golden. And uh, established 1846 and first poured in 1898. I don't know what they've done in, <laughs> in those 50 years. No idea. Every single drop distilled at Aberfeldy found on the leafy banks of the River Tay in the central highlands of Scotland. Guaranteed we lose our fair share to the angels. <laughs> that sounds as a tax to the angels. No, guaranteed 18 years in oak. I have to read it the other way. Limited release, as always, everything is limited, more expensive. Intense and concentrated, this honeyed golden drum. Pay attention. Honeyed, there's no honey added, but it tastes after honey offers rich rewards for those who like to dig deeper. Yes, we like to dig deeper. Alexander and Tommy Dewar, the sons of our founder, built their distillery at Aberfeldy alongside the picturesque Pityly Burn that runs down through birch woods celebrated in the Burgs of Aberfeldy, a famous poem by Robert Burns. Um, Dewar, the name we know. Uh, the Aberfeldy Distillery is also called Home of the Dewar, Dewars, and one lead malt in the Dewars blended malt whiskies, uh, blended Scotch whiskies, um, is the Aberfeldy. Uh, and the Aberfeldy belongs or is owned uh, by the Dewars company. <clears throat> Their father, John, was born and raised in a nearby croft before he one day set off on foot to Perth to seek his fortune. The brothers were every bit as devoted to the quality of the whiskey they made as their father has been before them. How could they resist the pristine waters of the pitily burn which descended from the source known locally as the Pool of the Water Gods? Not only is that water clean, pure and sweet, it also contains traces of gold, making it the perfect fit for their very own golden dram. Ah, awarded 24 gold medals. Not this whiskey. The whiskey is out of a Feldy distillery. Um, as I said, this one is for the travel value 40 percent ABV one liter content so a heavy bottle and bulgy bottle I like this and I'm afraid it might be colored and here on the back established Aberfeldi 1898 and now I'm not sure what that means established 1846 and there is a royal verand by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Scotch whiskey distillers John Dewar and Sons Limited, Perth, Scotland. Ha! John Dewar's and Son Limited, Perth. That was the birth of the uh, whiskey business, probably in Perth. 
and 19, uh, 1898 was the birth of the distillery. Might be. No idea. Aber Feldy Single Malt is admired for its honeyed, fruity and mellow character. This rare 18-year-old has been aged in oak casks, Ooh, what else, it's the law, to enrich and intensify its flavors, gaining notes of dried fruits, cinnamon, nutmeg, caramel and orange. And this, this means sherry casks. Yeah. for the details. We dig deep now. <sighs> A faint hint of smoke. Uh, always, not, not always, often seen in other Aberfeldy bottlings. And this makes the Aberfeldy so interesting. Vanilla smooth dark fruitiness. I can't tell if this is plums or figs or dates or whatever. Raisins, sultanines, what's the difference? Caramel, yes. And then there is nutmeg and cinnamon. The orange stays quite behind. A little sweet sourness, probably from might be the oranges. Yeah. mellow, rounded, smooth, intense, mouth-watering. Now the oranges appear and honey. Overall is a honey note. Sweetness, yes. And the smokiness is fading away, covered below all these intense aromas. No bitterness of sherry casks, no. Cinnamon, nutmeg, winter spices. Mm. This is a whiskey I like. Definitely, it starts with an intense aroma and then in the taste and then the aftertaste fades gives more and more details oh, yeah far too seldom you find such a wonderful complex and aged whiskey for such a reasonable price prices went up lately quite a lot and the ages disappeared from the bottles, and this one has everything. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. There's more to come. Hopefully as good whiskies as this one. Add your comments to our whiskey database. Discuss in the forum on whiskey.com and thank you for watching. <laughs>